my name is Brian Nolt. I'm the founder of Breckenridge Distillery, and this is our master distiller, Jordan Bai. Uh, the Breckenridge Chili Chile uh, Vodka. It is a symphony of a whole lot of chilies, um, which are fun, um, but this is quite honestly just the Bloody Mary Buster. So the infusion process for our uh, Chili Chile Vodka, uh, we use two chilies for this process. Uh, one of them uh, was found on a return trip to Napa, California, walking through a beautiful spice market. It's a Turkish chili called uh, a Mirage. It has a natural smoky character to it. Uh, it is not smoked, despite what uh, it seems like in the glass. Uh, we couple that with uh, Pueblo Green Chili, uh, which is harvested uh, once a year, very famous rivalry between Pueblo and Hatch, New Mexico, and who's got the better chili? Sorry. I think we do. Um, so those two chilies combined, macerated uh, for about 24 hours in the finished solution, um, filtered very carefully for stabilization, and then uh, run to bottle just like that. So um, in the glass we've got a moderate amount of heat. Uh, it does kind of catch you in the back of the throat. Um, not something that we drink on its own, too, too often. Uh, it does make a damn fine Bloody Mary though. Um, again, those smoky notes from the Mirage chili, those bright green herbaceous notes from the uh, Pueblo Green chili. So we made this to craft the ultimate Bloody Mary. It adds just enough uh, spice to it. Um, you might only need a touch of Tabasco if any at all. Honestly, the, the heat from the chilies, the smokiness from the Mirage kind of replaces all of that you'd get from your typical a hot sauce that's used in a, in a Bloody Mary. Um, also makes a fantastic mule. Uh, if you want a, a Moscow mule, very popular right now, that has a little kick to it, uh, this, is your, this is your person right here. And honestly, any cocktail that would complement from a touch of heat, uh, this is your vodka. Yeah.